Hi, this is Cedric, Asker November 4, Charlie Killer Mike. And today I would like to give a small demonstration on how the waveform generator of the Unity UTG962 Echo, 60 megahertz wave, waveform generator, can be used to measure something like this filter here. So uh, what you see here is a low pass filter for the 80 meter bands. So it means that it has to pass through 3.5 to 4 megahertz roughly, the 80 meter bands. Um, and everything above that, it has to start cut off and especially as of the first harmonic. So uh, how can that be done by using this waveform generator and a oscilloscope to uh, watch the output on? So first of all, and I'll switch off channel one for a moment. So if we would just use it as a normal waveform generator, I can set the frequency, which is currently set here at 10 megahertz, and the amplitude is set at 50 millivolts peak to peak on channel one. I've also set here the output uh, uh, for 50 ohm, because that's the typical output of a radio, uh, ham radio, not using any offset, not using any phase. So if we quickly have a look on the side, and I'll briefly disconnect these cables, and we have a quick look here on the side of this uh, uh, device, you see it has actually three outputs. Of course, channel two and channel one here, which are the two bottom ones, but also at the top one, and which is called external. And that one is the one that we are going to use for this specific function. So, first of all, I have here uh, this cable, which I will be connecting to channel one. This will be the, and this one is connected at the input here of the uh, uh, filter here. The output is just going here to this uh, dummy load on the other side. So it is terminated in a nice 50 ohm load. So that is what we are gonna hook up here at channel one. So that will send the signal through uh, the filter. Secondly, I am using this cable, which is just BNC to alligator clips and came with the device as well. So hook that, hook that one up to the top BNC on the device, um, which will be used there as a uh, synchronization output. How can you set that one up? If we go into utility and then into system, you see here, we can set the sync output either to go with channel one. Oh, let me push this one here. We can go to sync with channel one, channel two, or just put it off. It has multiple functions, but at this, uh, for this purpose, we're gonna use it as a sync output. So we sync with channel one. Then going back to the menu here, we need the sweep function and I'm gonna use the linear sweep function. Um, and that one sits under mode. So if we go into mode, you see here you have AM, uh, FM and other kind of modulation, but also the sweep functions. It has a linear one and a logarithmic one. I'm gonna use the linear one here. And if we select that one, you see, it will start here from one megahertz. It will stop at 11 megahertz and the sweep time is set to one millisecond. So that means in one millisecond, it will go from a signal from one megahertz all the way to 11 megahertz and then start over again. Now, how do we hook this one up to our oscilloscope? Well, let me show you. So first of all, I have here uh, the yellow probe with the yellow ring, which I will hook up and let me do it from this side. I will hook it up to the output of the filter. So I had here, I have here two pins that I added so I can very easily hook up my oscilloscope. So this one, the yellow one is at the moment at the output. Then I take the alligator clips, which come uh, out of the sync output and that one I will just hook up to the other probe I have going 
to my oscilloscope. So just black wire on black wire and then the red one put it here on the tip and I'll put a little bit here on the side now. And the next thing we just do is we switch on channel one. Now let's go over to the oscilloscope and see what it looks like over there. So this is what it looks like on the oscilloscope. So first of all, you see here the yellow one, which was connected to the output of the filter is going into my channel two. But the red one, it's not going into channel one, it's going into my external trigger. And also here I have chosen to trigger on the external output, which is connected to the uh, waveform generator. So actually what happens is that it gives me a um, block wave on the synchronization output, uh, which goes high every time it starts to sweep. So at this moment, the oscilloscope is triggering on that rising edge of the synchronization output that we're getting from the waveform generator. And we get one pulse, uh, uh, one pulse of a square wave every time it does one sweep. And that is what we're seeing here. So basically, you, know, you saw that we were starting from one megahertz all the way to 11 megahertz. So all the way at the left hand side, we, this is one megahertz. And as I have 10 divisions here on the oscilloscope, this is of course here uh, 11 megahertz. So it was also put at 50 millivolts peak to peak. My vertical is at this moment at 10 millivolts per division. And we can see here the signal is from halfway this one, one, two, three, four, another half. So five divisions peak to peak. So indeed that is my 50 millivolts peak to peak that we are seeing here. But then of course we see what happens over the frequency range. So of course at one megahertz, I still have 50 millivolts. Also at two, three, four. So, and here is where the 80 meter band is for amateur radio. So three, four, five, but after five, it starts to roll off. And by the time we're at six and seven, you see that the output signal is heavily attenuated. And then of course it stays flat for the rest of, uh, of the frequency range that I am scanning here. So we clearly see here what the uh, filter is doing and it's doing indeed what it is supposed to do. Uh, so when we go to the first harmonic around seven megahertz, we are way down and we have a high attenuation. So this is a small demonstration of how the UTG um, 962 echo can be used to sweep uh, through a filter and using the external output, external synchronization uh, linked up to your oscilloscope and use that one yeah, as a Bode plot, as it's sometimes called in, the, in more modern um, oscilloscopes. And you can see here the full waveform and, and what happens uh, through that filter over the frequency domain. So hope that one was useful. I saw that question asked several times online, like, can it do this and how should it work? So this is a small demonstration of that. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.